this is Michael Jacobs, and today's topics are a variety show. What this is going to be is, it's going to be all topics that you have selected for me to answer some questions on. So what I did before I came out was I just picked a few out of a hat, and let's get right to it. Two are going to be a 20, 20 to 30 yard shot. If you're short-sided, if the pin is real close to you, what do you do? And the third is going to be the flying wedges. Now, in the book, The Golfing Machine by Homer Kelly, which I'm obviously an authorized instructor of, there was a concept discussed in there called the flying wedges. Now, when first people start reading the book, they think that it's a wedge and they're throwing it or they're making them fly or all that. It's not. It has to do with your left arm and your right arm. And there's something called the left arm flying wedge and the right arm flying wedge. I'm just going to touch on it briefly, and then we could always expand on the topic. Uh, there's two wedges for you to take note of. There's a wedge or an angle formed from the shaft to the top of my forearm here. So an angle from the shaft to the top of my forearm, let's say I'm going to cock my wrist on the backswing and keep it flat. This angle here is the left hand flying wedge. So that angle is the left arm flying wedge. There's also, and uh, my first golfing machine teacher and mentor, Ben Doyle, talks more of the interior wedges. He likes people to see how between the forearm and the grip there are some interior wedges. It's almost like you stick a door wedge in there. He finds those helpful and I use them sometimes when I'm talking about hitting short shots. So really the flying wedges are an angle formed by the shaft and the forearm. That would be your left arm flying wedge throughout the whole swing. Your right arm flying wedge. Angle formed between the back of your forearm here the back of this wrist, and the shaft. So it's this angle on this side. So it's the angle form this way is another flying wedge. So as I make my back swing, this angle here is going to be my right arm flying wedge. As I come in, make contact, it will lengthen, so you'll see that this side of the flying wedge, post contact, it'll reset, and you'll see that's the angle form from the outside of my hand and the shaft. Helpful also, is to see a right hand interior wedge, a right form interior wedge also. To see an angle formed by your right forearm and the grip here, this little door jam type wedge, and how helpful it is to keep that super quiet when you're hitting your short shots. So I did a lot of training doing that when I'm hitting all the types of short shots, is I'm keeping a real quiet wedge on the inside of my right hand, which will in turn keep the outside right hand flying wedge real quiet as I have to, the only way to move it then when I have quiet wedges is to work off my body. So if I set my wedges, my left arm flying wedge, my right hand flying wedge, and my right hand interior wedge, if I kept them steady, it'd be a real good way for me to train to use my body and hit little chip shots. So those are the flying wedges. Please ask some questions. We'll get into more of how they're used, but that identifies them. Now let's get to the last one, the short-sided pitch shot. So I hope by now I've convinced you all at home to have that one club that you're going to use around the green, that 57 to 60 degree wedge that you're going to use around the green just for shorter shots. You're not going to use it for full shots. And you're going to have the lie angle checked to make sure that it accommodates a short swing, not a full swing with all that toe droop that happens in a full swing and all that uncocking and downward pressure is kind of... Not, doesn't exist on the short shots. I want to make sure that you have a good lie angle on your wedge, so make sure you have a club just for the shot, and I hope that you already do. This is my 57 degree wedge, and this is the club I use around the green when I got to hit those higher 20, 30 yard shots, especially short side shots. So, what am I looking to do? I want you to review pitch shots in last year's video tips for the explosive pitch shot, because that's really what it boils down to. Training yourself to take a normal grip, normal setup, and then just before I swing, I can be standing a little open if I want to. And just before I swing, I'm just going to take my hands and turn them back and just lay that sweet spot back a little. And then I'm going to bring that club out and then cut it with my body as I completely ignore the club face. So I open the face slightly by turning my hands. I'm bringing it out on the back swing. And then I'm opening my body and cutting it with my body as I ignore my hands and let my arms just fold. A good image for you to understand cutting it, what I mean by cutting it with your body, is picture the club face being right in the center of your stomach. Right in the center of your stomach. You're going to make a backswing, and then picture you have no arms, you have this club face in the center of the stomach that's extended out, and you're going to use your body to try to 
get that club face to work the ball and cut it off the ground. This is a great image for sand shots also. Picture a club face in the center of your stomach and try to work that ball off the ground by using your body pivot and not just by using your arms. So I'm going to turn the face and lay back. I'm going to do my explosive pitch shot and cut it with my body and ignore the club face. So I completely ignore the club face. When I'm trying to do these short side shots, I'm making sure that my club is moving faster than the ball is going to leave. So after contact, I feel like my club is moving faster than the ball, and I feel like my body is moving faster than the club. So my body's moving the fastest, then the club, and the ball is the last thing to leave. Practice those, and stay tuned for part two of the Variety Show, coming real soon. And keep adding those questions on there. We'll make this a common thing. Michael Jacobs from the Michael Jacobs Explosive Golf School. Hope your summer is going well.